Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android State too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are jumping back in Scum and we are once again playing on the hardcore server because as I was running around today I came across an active abandoned bunker and we haven't done an abandoned bunker in forever so today I decided to try my luck. So first things first I crafted myself a chest and filled it up with some of the loot that I couldn't use just in case things went sideways in the bunker. I also gathered up some screwdrivers because we need those to open up those bunker doors and I also prepared myself physically and mentally. Mr. Brenner, here I come for you. I'm gonna take you down. I don't even know what kind of move this is, but I'm doing it. And I'm gonna get all the gear. All the good gear is mine. I don't even know what these are for. Then I take out the razors. Better watch out. Got a carb up as well. Oatmeal and banana. Yeah. Bah. You know, actually, I can't jump rope. But after all that, I went over to the abandoned bunker and to open the abandoned bunker doors, we need a keycard or we can open them by successfully completing this mathematical minigame. And it's safe to say that I am absolutely terrible when it comes to solving this minigame. 50 and 20. Right, this should be easy, right? This should be easy. 40... Uh... This ain't easy. <laughs> 160 so we need plus 40 so that and that and then we need minus 10 no plus 10 what am i talking about plus 10 dude this game is rigged mr brenner can you break down the door so i don't have to do the hacking mini game what is this no that not that not it dude this is rigged this is rigged how am i supposed to go because if i do this oh no well, to be honest, I failed quite a few times, not my proudest moment, so I decided to take a break. And after that, I came back and I focused up as hard as I could and I went into try hard mode, and after a few more fails... <gasps> I've done it! Oh my god, I've done it! Oh! oh, oh. Yep, Mr. Brenner was waiting for me right at the door. I did trigger the alarm one too many times, so whenever we fail that minigame, there's an alarm going off and it triggered Mr. Brenner and he came to greet me at the door. A few zombies decided to jump me as well, but I managed to take them down and by the time I took down the zombies, Mr. Brenner retreated from the bunker doors, so I was able to go in and since I didn't have a keycard, I had to try my luck once again with the mini game at the second blast doors. We need to go down by 120. Oh, that's not happening. I don't even minus 60. Oh, here we go. I've done it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. I've done it. Alright, I got a bit of juice in my batteries here. So let's see if we can find some fuses. And open up some uh, some of these uh, some of these rooms. I probably won't make it far, but I'll try my best. I try my best. Oh man, if the doors close, we're gonna have to use that wheel and it's gonna make so much noise. We can go through here as well, this is gonna be open, yeah, 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 yeah. So whenever we hear the cries, we have to stop. If I remember right, which I may not, because I haven't been here in months. Here we go, we got a fuse. The 600 one, nice. That's gonna last quite a bit of time. Oh, no, 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 no. 45, 44, <laughs> I'll take it, that's a win right there, yeah. don't do it, don't do it, don't you do it, ooh, a vest, unfortunately I already have one, so we're not gonna take it.
So the fuse that we found, we can use it over at the generator room and turn on the power for a certain amount of time in different sections of the bunker, but the generator room is locked so we have to open it with that mathematical minigame or with a keycard. And as luck would have it, I managed to find a keycard, so I went in the generator room and turned on the power for section A of the bunker, and what this does, it activates these keypads, and we have to guess the code or the password and the code is formed from the keys that are overly used. For example here it's 9, 4 and 0. So the code could be any combination of these three keys but the numbers cannot repeat. So the code cannot be 0, 0, 0. So we guess the code and we open the door to the rooms with the good loot. But just as with the other minigame, I'm not very good at guessing the password. I failed my first attempt, the alarms went off and I got jumped by a razor. But I did manage to escape with just a C2 bleed. But on my second attempt... 940... 904... <gasps> I've done it! I've done it! Yes, here we go, my reward, and my reward is, ooh, we have some lock containers, that's nice, what do we have in here, 9mm, stab pro vest, oh no, oh no, please don't. That's it. Alright, let me check the, the locked containers. First one. I would love to have like an M9 or something. Smoke grenade? Because I got a magazine for the M9. I got a bunch of 9mm. HS would be great as well. Nothing, alright. <laughs> Damn it. The first room didn't have all that much, so I went over to the next one, it was a depository, and as luck would have it, I did manage to find some very interesting loot. There we go. What are we having here? We have a weapon cleaning kit, a fuse, a big fuse, nice, nice, nice. Memory, ooh, a memory module, that's very good, that is very, very good. But you have to charge it up in a lot of different bunkers, which is probably not really gonna happen for me. <laughs> Let me repair this. The memory module is very good because if we manage to charge it up, we can increase our intelligence. We can try to do it ourselves or we can do it over at the doctor. But we have to charge it up at these stations deep within the abandoned bunkers. But speaking of intelligence, I did manage to take down a few razors and one of them had one of these serums that increase our intelligence by one for a certain amount of time. <gasps> Check it out! Intelligence enhancement. Oh, nice, 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 nice. And my big brain is gonna go from three to four. There we go. Nice. So the first level doesn't seem to have a lot of things. Oh, that's... <gasps> Armory! Oh my god, I got a power on C as well. I got a power, power on C. That's the armory right there. How much juice does C need? Uh. So I have a 600 fuse up in here. And I powered on A and B and C. C requires a hundred. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Right, let's see if we can find something in that armory. All the way at the back there. It's gonna need a code! Not the code again! I am absolutely terrible when it comes to guessing those stupid... Oh, God! Please, no loud noises! This is a library! Here we go, here we go. Alright, armory. Please, let me guess, let me guess the password. First try. First try, please. I don't even know where I'm gonna go to hide. Oh my goodness. 
This guy better not be right here. He is! <gasps> oh, yeah. Where do I hide? If I mess up the number. Or the password there. Do I go in here? I mean, I guess so. Maybe there's another room here. There's two armories here. I'll just have to run in here. Oh! That guy is sleeping right over there. Alright, so this is the depository and then this is the armory. We're going for the armory. And if I mess this up, I'm just gonna run back as fast as I can. How many numbers? Two, three numbers, damn. Man, I'm so bad at this. One, two, eight. Two, one, eight. Ah! Okay, so it's... Oh, God. Do I just chill in here? Where do I go? Ah! Bad. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. I'll just chill in here. Close the door! Oh my goodness, no. Man. There we go. Right, I'm going back for the second try. First try didn't go so well. Second try, we'll see how it goes. So what did we try? One, two? One, two, eight, and one, eight, two? Let's try with two now. Two, one, eight. Two one eight or two eight one. Damn it! Here we go. Nice. Oh my God! Yes. 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 No, not forty-five. I need a magazine for my UMP. I got a bunch of forty-five. A oh, shoddy, I guess so. Come on, please. Please give me a magazine. Binox. Come on. I do have a couple of screwdrivers so we can open up some of these containers. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. The first one has... Night vision, man. Second one. I already have night vision, so we don't really need that. Oh my goodness, please. Come on, please give me something good. Man, I just need a bloody magazine. This is the one. No. <laughs> come on, come on. Does it go on this? It does. At least we have a scope for it. Alright, we don't have a magazine, but we have a sight. And this I'm not gonna take. I can't really carry it, and I don't really need it either, so... Because we already have a pair. Well, at this point, I was starting to run out of screwdrivers, and then I also noticed Mr. Brenner just down the hallway, and I didn't want to risk getting burnt up because I had no cash money to respawn, so I decided to call it a win and leave the bunker. And since my pockets were filled up, I went over to a nearby outpost and sold some of the extra loot that I had. And then I went over to a town to see if I could find some more screwdrivers. Alright, well, let's see if we can find ourselves some screwdrivers in this here town. I see a guy in the woods here. I'm gonna try and take him down real fast. Let's see if he's got any screwdrivers on him. I haven't been getting all that lucky with screwdrivers from Popates. Uh, let me see. Here we go. Oh, what the... Uh, excuse me. Oh, that's quite a few of them, actually. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh, God. That's not gone well. That's not gone well at all. Uh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my goodness. That was a jump scare and a half right there. <laughs> I did not expect a horde to trigger. 
I thought I was being so sneaky with the bow. All right, well, we have a bunch of puppets that we can search for some screwdrivers now. Let's see, are we gonna have any luck? So, sometimes you guys ask me why I don't search the puppets. Well, one, I'm not all that lucky when it comes to actually finding things on the puppets. And two, I don't want to undress them all the time because sooner or later that's just going to get me in trouble. <laughs> so, whenever I search a puppet and you see me like looking at the ceiling or looking out the window or whatever, I'm trying not to look at the puppet because the puppet doesn't have any clothes on and that's going to, you know, that could get me in trouble. So I do this and then I'm like, oh yeah, what's over there? Oh, no way. Check it out. One screwdriver. Now we're talking. So we have three uses. Perfect. All right, let's see. Is this guy still over here? Because if he is, I'm going to try and search him as well. I think we took him down in this tree. He's gone. Yep, he's gone. Damn. That's all right. We can find more puppets in this here town, hopefully. All right, well, I haven't found any more screwdrivers, but I did find this willy warmer. <laughs> Has anybody used one of these before? I don't, I... Until not too long ago, I thought this was just a joke, but they're actually a thing. <laughs> but I've never once used a Willy Warmer. I mean, I guess I just didn't have to because... I mean, winters get pretty cold out here, but not that cold that my Willy is gonna need the bloody warmer. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? All right, so we're gonna check the garages here. We're gonna take a look in the PD. I'm just trying to see if I can find any bandages in the pharmacy here. Oh, pff, jackpot. Right there, jackpot. Nice. Alright. We got some bandages. Vitamins. We got the willy warmer. So, is it, did, let, let me know down below. Did, it, did you guys ever use a willy warmer? Be honest. And is it is it just for the willy? Or is it for the nards as well? Does it... Does your nards go in here as well, or is it just for the willy? What I'm trying to ask is the willy warmer covering just the willy, or is it covering the entire area? <laughs> Check it out. Small screwdriver. Perfect. All right, I'm going to drop this key card as well. It's expired either way, so we can't really use it anymore, even if we go to another abandoned bunker. So might as well just drop it. Cool backpack or a leather backpack. A hoodie. Duct tape. Alright, so we have uh, two, four, five uses. We can at least open up one armory in a normal bunker. So I did manage to find a few screwdrivers. I took a look around the police station as well. I didn't open any of the locked containers because I wanted to keep the screwdrivers for a bunker. And after that, I went over to the nearby C2 bunker to see if I could find the magazine for the UMP. Oh, oh hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, hey. Oh! Rectum. Also, did I just see... Oh, yeah. Check it out, a melee weapon holster. Pretty good shape as well. Uh, can I put something in here? I don't think I have a knife on me. The machete is not gonna go in here because it's huge. Do I have a knife? I don't, but if we find a knife, we can put it in our melee weapon holster. Alright, well, let's see if we can get a bit of luck and find ourselves a magazine for the UMP in the armories. I doubt that I'm gonna find one just laying around here, so I'm gonna go straight for the armories, use up all of my screwdrivers here, we have 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we have 8 uses, so we're gonna be able to open up 2 armories. Alright, let's do it. Oh, it's so bright in here. How bright is it? Oh, it's pretty bright actually, I'll keep the NVGs on. Just in case. Alright, so do you guys remember where the armories are in the C2 bunker? Is Was it... Uh, hold on, I think one is this way. Never mind. <laughs> hold on, this way? Nope, that's not it. 
I legit don't remember. Oh, here's one, here's one. Here we go. One armory. So bright in here. What do we have? A hat? Is that a hat? And then an SVD suppressor. Alright. A gun holster. We already have one. Anything else? Nothing else. Alright, let's uh, let's open up some of these containers here. With my luck, we're probably gonna find another UMP. That one is empty. This one is also empty. Right? All right. All right. Whoa! Empty as well. Last one. <laughs> a drum magazine and the VSS. Check this out. I have a magazine and bullets for it. Nice. Heck yeah, we have a working assault rifle. Well, I guess this is technically a sniper rifle. But it's kind of the same as the um, ASVAL, right? More or less. What's great about the VSS is that it's already suppressed. And the suppressor is not gonna break, right? <laughs> because it's integrated. So you don't have to worry about fixing it. Alright, here we are at the other armory. Right over here. Now well, let's take a quick peek around. Also, how am I gonna manage... My inventory here? Because we're gonna have... To do this, maybe? Oh, it doesn't fit. Gotta try and make a little bit of space in our inventory here so we can put the machete in here, then hot key it over here. Then we can put the VSS on our back. There's another pair of night vision right over here. Not too shabby. Ooh, more 9x39 for our new VSS. What else? Anything else? Man, that explosive puppet better not be right at my door. It sounds really close. Oh no. Oh no, this may be it. If this guy is right at my door, I'm screwed. Okay, he's not here. Is he down the hallway? Oh hey. Oh god. Is he just behind the corner here? Yeah. The creeper? I just wanted to take care of this guy. I was scared that he was gonna be right at the door of the armory, but he was pretty far away. Alright, well. Should we search these guys really fast before we lockpick the armory? I guess we can quickly do it. Just look at the ceiling. He's got nothing. And he's got... Nothing. What about this guy here? Nothing of use, nothing of use. Alright, let's check out the armory here. Alright, well, so far, no luck. A flare? What's up with the flares? I keep on finding flares in the locked containers in the armories. Is this where they spawn now or what? Here we go. Ooh, so you're telling me four containers, only one flare? <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't complain because we got the VSS, but... Really? Oh, is that a hospital zombie? It is, what the... What's he doing down here? 
Usually we see these guys in the hospitals. Hey buddy. The jacket, this one by the way, looks really cool. It doesn't really have an inventory space, but... It looks very nice on our characters. Ah no, he didn't drop it! Man. I was hoping he was gonna drop it so we can take a quick peek at it, but... From what I remember, it looks pretty cool. Is it just behind the corner? Of course. <laughs> They're always camping the corners. It feels like the past two times we've played, every time we found an explosive puppet, he was just like this behind the corner. Well, these guys are above me. I think we just go this way. By the time they're gonna find me, I'm gonna open up some lock containers, if I can find some. Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Three armored up zombies here? This guy is quite resilient, good lord. Alright, well, I can't seem to find any more locked containers. <laughs> I just, I just can't do it. Oh, oh, hello. Where are the explosive guys? Oh god. Where is the explosive guy? Four shots! Oh no! We're running out of bullets here. He's behind a corner. He's right here, isn't he? Oh no. Oh no, I... Oh, he's right there. Could we not shoot through that before? There we go. I swear, there's been a few times when I got blasted through these. So I thought we could shoot through them. Maybe I just missed. Maybe, yeah, maybe I just missed. Let me see. No more shots. Right, it's back to the bow and the revolver. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't find the magazine for the UMP, but I did manage to get the VSS, and after I left the bunker, I went over to the radio tower, and as luck would have it... <gasps> no way! An M16 magazine! And 5.45? No, why wasn't it 5.56? Come on! <laughs> well, we have a magazine for our M16 that we stashed away. Nice, very, very nice. I did not expect to find that here at the uh, at the radio tower. What a lucky find! All we need now is some five five six, and we're gonna get the M sixteen going as well. All right, hold on. I shut the door right in my face. What? An M16 magazine just laying there? Oh my god! <laughs> there is no way! There is no way! A magazine for the UMP as well. Now we're talking. Now we are talking. And I have tons and tons of 45. One box, two boxes, 28 here. Another. Another. That's it. <laughs> Hold on, that's it. I think I stashed some away in my chest as well. So we should be alright. Nice! An M16 magazine and the UMP magazine in the same spot at the radio tower. This place never disappoints. Whenever I come here, I find what I need or I get into fights and I manage to win them as well. <laughs> so that's why I come here all the time. Ooh! 9 by 39 for our VSS. Nice. <gasps> Are you serious? All right. I'm telling you the radio tower. This place is just a gold mine. 
we got the SWAT vest, we got a magazine for our UMP, we got a magazine for the M16. I mean, we are kitted. Nice. And there we have it, we have managed to survive yet another day on the hardcore server, but that's about it for today. Thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out, and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.